All right, so you still might be kind of new to Upland and you want to know how to buy property and what the colors mean and the different things like that. Well, in today's video, I'm actually going to show you. So let's go ahead and navigate. I'm going to go ahead and click on my little icon on the bottom here. It's going to take me to my character and you're going to see where I'm at right now. So the location I'm at right now, you're going to notice how my character moves in certain areas. Well, what's going to happen is if the area was available, um, for instance, any property that right now, the blue means that it's been owned and somebody has it and they're not selling it. The dark green means that a person's already bought it and has actually put it on the market to be sold. So um, the things you're not going to see here because this is the whole property has been taken care of, like everybody's already bought in this area. So I can't buy anything except for the people that to put it on the second. So you call this the secondary market. But let's say um, the other colors you would see here would be gray. And then you would also see um, light green. So right now, the gray areas, if there was any unminted, which means no one ever bought it before, as soon as someone purchases a product, uh, a property, it's called minted. So that means that they actually put it onto the blockchain. But if there's any, like right now, again, we're in this area, everything's bought out, so I can't buy any um, unminted property. So everything has to be minted, it's already minted, or I'm buying secondary. So the thing is, any property that's out there right now that's green, you don't need to be by it. You, can, you don't have to be near it. Like your block of square doesn't have to be near it. So if I wanted to buy this one on the right here, I can click on this and it's going to tell me the offer price. So this is 102,000 um, UPX. I can buy that for that price. Um, now, again, say for instance, if this is a new one, if this is a gray area here and no one's bought it before, well, I just can't click on it and buy it. I have to wait till my, um, my block explorer is in the area. And once it comes closer to that location, um, which is called your discovery zone, I'll be able to go, go ahead and then purchase that product or that property and then go from there. So you have three different colors. You have light blue, which means again, we'll click here. The person's not selling it. It just you know, it tells you a little bit more about this person. You click on here, learn about who they are and what they have, how many properties. Um, but the green means you can purchase this anytime you want, um, depending on whatever, if, if it's an offer, if they want to do it by UPX or USD. So you have a couple different options there. But that's how you actually purchase property. Um, it's not really that difficult, but I'm going to show you actually, I'm going to go take a look at one of my properties here. So you can see the blue is, so it's 3802 Stickney Avenue. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to some of my properties. So 3802 Stickney. So I actually have property in Ohio. So let's go ahead and go to Ohio. And you're seeing here um, properties that you own will show up um, as dark blue. And I'm going to zoom once it gets into this location, I'm going to zoom up a little further so you can actually kind of see. So this is my property here. It's blue. You see, then it's going to tell you your name, tell you how much you bought it for, um, tell you the property size. And, you know, if you want to scroll down and take a look at the street view of this actual property, take a look at this nice little home here. Um, but the next thing you do is zoom out a little further. And you can actually take a look to see if there's anything available in your area. And again, so now that I have, I have three of these next to each other, there's certain things I could do. I can actually send my um, block avatar or my block explorer to any one of these locations. So if I knew that there was something about property over here that I wanted to get, I can actually try to send him here and hopefully he goes in that direction. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll send him back here, see if he goes in that direction. Um, or if I only had one in that location, like if I only had one property, and I see if there's something here that I wanted to get. Let's just say, for instance, if I sent my, my block explorer here and he starts going in this direction, well, I'll wait till he goes a little further, send him right back to it, and hopefully he changes direction. If he doesn't, send him back, and then hopefully he goes to the direction that I want. So that's a little bit navigating, but this is kind of like how you want to buy property. You want to just let your block explorer hover over it. Um, that way you can acquire new properties, but anything else other than that, you'll see you'll have dark green. You can buy it anywhere you want. Now, the cool thing about this, what I'm showing you, so buying properties, what I like to tell you, like we'll, we're going to have a video about selling here in just a moment, but the buying property part, which is kind of cool, is like I prefer to buy property in different locations. So if I'm going to go ahead and zoom up now, you're going to see this going to have numbers. So I have one here, one here, one here. If I scroll a little further, it's going to see how they zoomed and put two together. Now this shows three. So that means in this area, I have three of them here. This area, I have three. This area, I have one. So if I zoom out a little further, it's going to say I have five. So you can see that you can zoom into the location. You see you have all these here. Now, the reason why I did it in this, this particular way, because one, I was just really new buying properties that I had. Um, but the next thing is like, you know, I saw some properties. I definitely could buy some other ones here. But I wanted to start learning how to do some treasure hunts. So when you're buying properties and you don't want to spend your sends, which your send is what you use to send your... Um, your property, your your block explorer to another location. So let's go back. I'm gonna go into here really quick. If my block explorer is here, actually let's go to my block explorer. Let's go back to it. So I'm gonna click on this bottom. I'm going back to Oakland. So let's go back to California. All right. So 
If I wanted to send my explorer here, my block explorer to this location, I can click on this here and you'll see up top, it's gonna to cost me 40 UPX. And you can see this person's already made, you know, 160 UPX because people are going to his location. And the reason why you're doing that because there might be a send over here, there might be a treasure or something like that. So if there's any time there's a treasure hunt and you can have, if you have property scattered all throughout the, you know, the the area or the county or city or whatever, you can just send yourself and it doesn't cost you anything. So you get, 11 of these sends per day uh you get i mean maximum 11 at one time you can hold you get three per 24 hours um, that you know after you use them but for that i just i would like so right here here's a send and this is what i was referring to so it's going to cost me some money but i'm going to show you here let's see how much this costs so this is 20 upx so i'm going to send my character to this one here so i got 11 left so if i wanted to buy that property in this area i would send it to this something here in this area and i'm only doing this because i'm gonna recharge myself anyway so like if there was a property here, so now you see how he's going in a different direction. But what if the property was here I wanted? Well, I would buy this property. Um, I mean, I would send myself back to this property and hopefully he goes into that direction. But I'm gonna click this and get my sends. So that kind of, hopefully that gives you a little explanation. But again, the different colors you have, bright green means you're in the area. So anything that turns bright green, um, if it's unminted or if it's, you know, if it's a gray area, then it becomes, you know, dark, I mean, light green means you can buy it. But other than that, you have to have your Explorer near it. But if it's something that somebody sells on the secondary market, it doesn't matter what state you're in. Cause like I can go, like I'm in California right now. I can actually click in some of the properties that I own in Ohio or whatever. It doesn't matter what state you wanna to go to. So I can just click here. Let's go ahead and go into this area. Let's go to Kansas City. So Kansas City has property all around here. Let's go, let me get closer to this. All right, so there's property all around here. So I can just click on one. And if I want to purchase property, it would cost me 10,000 UPX. So I could do it that way. And it's good to have um, properties all around. Um, again, we don't know where the direction is going with this game. So having property all over might be nice. There might be a time where you're traveling. You might need to just go to your own location, stay there, or you might need to fuel up. You might have some cars in the future. There might be all kinds of stuff, businesses or whatever. And if, you know, the game, the name of this game is buying properties, selling them, flip them, whatever you want to do. Um, there's a lot of different game style of play different types of strategies and things like that so it's up to you how you do it but this is just a video showing you how to buy properties what the different colors mean hope you enjoyed it i got more videos like this that's going to help you become a better uplander um, a better explorer and again i'm learning this game as i go so if there's something i said wrong or you can give me some better pointers leave it in the comment below and other than that i'll see you in the upland